King Charles' personal fortune has been revealed as being almost double that of his late mother Queen Elizabeth's, according to figures from the latest Sunday Times Rich List. The King's wealth currently stands at £600 million, while the Queen's was measured at £370 million before her death last September. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. However the royal family's fortune is dwarfed compared to those in top 10, as King Charles only appeared at number 263 on the list. The richest man in the UK is Gopi Hinduja, from the Indian conglomerate Hinduja Group, whose wealth stands at £35 billion. At number 5 on the list were Sir James Dyson and his family with a personal fortune of £23 billion, while Prince George's godfather the Duke of Westminster and the rest of the Grosvenor family are at number 11 with £9. £9 billion. It was reported earlier this year that Charles has managed to accumulate wealth from his property assets and building housing developments. The two most valuable properties owned by the monarch are Sandringham and Balmoral, which come with 20,000 acres and 50,000 acres of land each respectively. Last year property firm McCarthy Stone valued Sandringham at £55 million but the whole estate could be worth up to £245 million according to estate agent Strutt and Parker. Balmoral Castle is worth £60 million, with each of its surrounding acres of mountains, forests, locks and grouse moors worth between £600 and £1,800 apiece. Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle are owned by the Crown, unlike Sandringham and Balmoral which are personal possessions and can be passed down through the family. This week it was revealed that the Queen's funeral cost the UK taxpayer £162 million, with the biggest bill being footed by the Home Office which paid £74 million towards the event. Meanwhile the Department of Culture, Media and Sport spent £57 million. The Treasury's Chief Secretary John Glenn described her death and the country's period of national mourning as a moment of huge national significance. Don't miss! Royal Family Opening Doors to Public as Charles Rain Brings in Shift, Latest, The Cornish Caribbean Loved by the Royal Family, Travel, Meghan and Harry's Relationship Timeline in Pictures, Pictures, he added, During this period, many hundreds of thousands of people came in person to pay their respects, at the Lying at Rest in Edinburgh, the Lying in State in Westminster, as well as in London and Windsor for the state funeral on 19th of September. Many more people also came out to support His Majesty the King and other members of the royal family as they travelled around the UK during this time. The government's priorities were that these events ran smoothly and with the appropriate level of dignity, while at all times ensuring the safety and security of the public. As departments finalize their accounts ahead of publication in the coming months, the government is now able to publish an estimate of the costs associated with delivery of these events by the main government departments and evolved administrations involved.